Hi everyone, just before we get into the video and the true greetings, I would just like to say I completely forgot at the start of this video to quickly mention that the game is still in crowdfunding. So if you would like to support Drone the Game and perhaps get some little bonuses there, there is a link in the description which will allow you to go to their main page and from there you can see their crowdfunding and I believe that one of the perks allows you to get some of the early access demos. I'm mentioning all this because a lot of people were asking how you can get the game early in the previous video and I didn't really explain myself very well there. So feel free to go and take a look. Again, the link is in the description. So let's get on with the game. Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Drone with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to our little cave map. In today's video, I'm hoping we can finish off the internals of the main cave section and hopefully make the outside here look a little bit prettier, a little bit more smoothed off, and without random things like this just appearing out of nowhere. So, just making the main point of this whole map a little bit better. So I have been thinking, and I think the very first thing we need to do is decide on the weather of the map and what type of map we're actually going to go with. So right now, we have this. We have the greenery, it's all mountainous, and it kind of looks very pretty and nice. But we can do this. There we go. So the world is now a lot more barren. So this is the desert mode. Essentially, we can swap between those two, and then we can mess around with the weather itself. So in this way, we have the trees now looking a lot more dead. All of the rock has become brown and kind of dry looking. Actually, a little bit wet looking here, but either way, it looks a lot more like a desert. It's a lot less alive. And the main benefit for this map is it will be a lot easier for me to blend the mountains with the static stones we're going to be placing. With the other version, I think the main benefit is it adds a lot more detail naturally, but it's going to make things look a lot more artificial as I place them, especially in the way I want to place them. So there's that. Then after that, we do have to decide on the weather. For instance, we can do this. Just putting the weather as far down as possible. Then let's up the weather condition, which actually makes it worse, of course. And then... It's snowing. And in a second, the whole place will become a snowed-in wonderland. There we go, the snow is finally starting to stick. There's some lightning, and we have this. Of course, this is also a, lo a lot darker, so we will have to focus on lighting, but... Yeah, it's kind of terrifying. Up the wind speed, lower the wind speed. Now, one great thing with this is if we go inside, you'll notice the snow has now stopped, but if we go over here, the snow once again falls. Which looks really good if you have very low wind speed, because it looks like it's all falling through the gap, and then if you leave this area again, the snow stops which I think is really, really nice. Now, when the game is actually released, the weather will have an effect on the drones. For instance, if it's cold, the drone will have a tougher time producing heat, which is both a good thing and a bad thing, and then the wind will knock you around and stuff like that. Also, we do have a flashlight, which is kind of awesome in the more dark maps. So you're never going to be completely shut out from light. It's just a matter of, it's a bit more difficult to see. And that does look fairly cool. Or we could have it like this. Still frozen, but the weather is nowhere near as bad. In fact, right now it's lovely and sunny even. And that does look fairly nice, but it does remove a lot of the detail. But at the same time, this looks a lot more natural. Rather than the fact I've placed almost all of these stones up here and around there. So... I think it may be a bit difficult to figure out exactly which I want to go with. Now, if we could just quickly swap back. Here we are, the frozen version of the green map. And, yep, yeah, pretty much the same, just a bit more life in it. A bit of green sticking out here and there. And maybe that's it then, perhaps snow-covered on the more vibrant map. Let's just up the temperature a little bit. And let's see what we can do. 
So, I've just done a little bit of blending on the outside, so now this rock slide looks a little bit more natural, it's a bit more flush with where it's fell down, and then at the bottom I've just put some broken trees, I've put some extra rocks, so it's spilling out a little bit more. Not quite done yet, but it definitely looks a lot better than it did previously. I've also started planting a little mini forest over here, which I'm going to add perhaps a little tower to or something, so there's something over here, it's not just a bare corner. And then eventually we'll figure out something for the main area over here. Perhaps an outside building, perhaps a secondary smaller mountain or hill over here. But that's not really the goal of today. Today, it's the mountain. And I think that actually looks pretty good. Now when it comes to the weather, I think I'm either going to have this, just the normal sunny, green and happy. Or we could go over to the desert, which... I'm not too happy with mostly because of the trees, as you can probably tell, this looks a lot better. Or, full on snow. I think that's the way we're going to do this. I don't think an in-between looks particularly good, so I think we should go down one of the extreme routes. Now with the snow, the only problem is we lose so much detail. But, it does blend everything, and I feel like I'm just sort of repeating myself from earlier at this point, but I keep on swapping between them and I can't decide, so for now, we're going to leave it just as nice and green and happy. A little bit of blending later, and I think I'm starting to lose my mind. Placing rocks pretty much everywhere, removing them, placing down some greenery, trying to make every little bit of it look a little bit more natural, a little bit more like it was placed without a very specific purpose. And I'm somewhat happy with how this looks right now. We definitely need to bake the lighting again because it's a bit glitchy, but... I think that looks okay. I think I still need to do a little bit more around the edges here, but I think I've made this sinkhole look like the centerpiece, but not so much that it looks fake. At least that's my opinion. Again, I'm not particularly good at map building. It's not exactly something I normally enjoy all that much, but I would love to have at least one map to my name, and I think that's okay. Yeah, I think that actually looks okay. Starting to look a bit like a volcano, honestly. If we raise this section here, we could very easily make this into a volcano thing, but then this would make far, far less sense now, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, I'll just do a few more things around the outside, then we can get building on the inside. I've already been here now for way over an hour. Finally using the terrain tool on the inside, which I was planning to do last time, but then completely forgot. So with this, hopefully, we can make it look a bit more natural on the inside as well. I think that, that looks pretty cool, honestly. I'm tempted to have one going all the way to the roof, but I think that would look a bit too odd. So with that, now we can start putting some rocks around that. Because apparently today is all about just placing rocks everywhere. Just throw down these as a base, then I'll try and make it look better in a second. Uh, a bit bigger over here, so it's kind of tilted a bit and perhaps tipped on the way down. That's fine. Then, let's build up the top a bit here. Again, just putting down a base. And then a couple of rocks on the top. Yeah, I like how that looks, plus it gives somewhere to fly through. That's the thing. So I think I will continue to build this down. Maybe I will actually connect this one. So I'll connect this one to the ceiling. So let's get one of the larger ones, like so. Maybe um, a lot of smaller ones instead to make it look a bit better. So it looks like it's fell down, but not completely. So let's just extend that out a bit. Yeah, more like that. I do really like how that looks, actually, so I think that is what we're going to stick with. Maybe make that a bit lower, though. Uh, no, no, let's put it back up. Oh, not quite as much. Over here again. Yeah, more like that, so this one isn't quite as prominent. Then almost connect these, then put a bit of an arch there. Yeah, I like that, plus it gives one more area people can hide in and get through. In fact, I might do the same here as well, and that will help separate this room from that room 
in a similar way we've been doing over there. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's get removing some of these tiles, which will reveal a very weird looking piece of mountain. Then I'll do something similar, but not perfectly symmetrical with this, otherwise it'll look way too artificial. I'm starting to think that this actually makes very little sense in terms of how it's broken, but I like how it looks though. It really helps to separate this room from the other, and that is a big deal for me. And then what I can do is have something similar to this over here. Well, apparently at some point I've accidentally done that, so let's ignore that and just put a rock there for a second. There we go. To be finished later. Excellent. But we could do something similar to this here, and that would help frame this building. Then we could actually make the building slightly larger. Originally, I wanted the building to be a walkway here, then a door here, then this would be the building. And then maybe a doorway here which is being blocked, so you have to go through here. And then perhaps have some windows to shoot through and actually drive through if you're using these smaller drones. But instead, we could have it as if at some point the building was all of this, but then all of this has fell on it, so we only have ruins similar to that. I don't know which I'm going to go with. Say goodbye to the flat wall. There we go. So now we have this in the corner, which I think looks a lot better. So really shaping up now. Just need to work on the building. And then I think we're pretty much done for this room. There's very little else I really want to do. Maybe recoloring some of the floors, but that's it. So goal is build the building there and then make this area look a bit more presentable. I want to do something similar to this and this, perhaps on this wall or perhaps on that wall so it looks like it's caving in more from the sides not just from the top as if the whole thing is really really unstable and then over here I do want to start putting down some of these walkways because at some point people must have had to actually get in here so would be nice to have a couple of walkways and actually that's the perfect place for one just there there we go, first bit of walkway, then I'll put down some pillars and stuff, break it up so it's not all the way up, otherwise it'll actually be a functional walkway, which I don't really want, and then make it so perhaps here was the original entrance before the entire thing collapsed, I don't know, I just want it to look a bit more functional, or at least previously it was a bit more functional. So just putting down the foundation, and I'm realising this is a little bit cluttered, which means we have two ways to go about this, either A, we declutter it a little bit, make that a little bit more open, perhaps not go so extreme in the corners here, and then have this more as a pure tower. Or, we could do the route which I'm thinking of, and go all out with the clutter, completely clutter the floor here, so it looks like the entire section there has just completely fell in. Not so much in terms of the walls, but in terms of the flooring, and perhaps the damage done to these walls. If I can finish this and be happy with this section by today, I will be happy overall with what we've done. Okay, so I've gone for quite a large tower, and honestly, I like how this is looking. So we have this broken section here, which we can enter quite easily as a small drone, but be much more difficult for one of the larger variants. In fact, I think the largest one probably can't even go through this section at all. Let's have a quick look-see about that. And boink. Oh no, you can! Just about though, you have to be lined up so well to get through that. Okay, that's fine, I don't mind that whatsoever. So definitely still a benefit to be a smaller drone here. Then we're going to have a main entrance over here, which will be an actual door section. I think I'm going to put it here. What I'm going to do is have the door here, then some stairs leading up over this rubble. So the stairs simply didn't get knocked down. Then inside, I probably am only going to have two rooms. Yeah, one going down, then one as the main room, and then just have some broken floors above it, similar to the other piece of ruin we made earlier. That way it's still nice and open, you can still do whatever you want in there, and maybe once you go down, so I'll add a floor here, if there's ever pickups in the game or something, that can quite easily be placed there. Okay, that's good, so now we have these little windows here, which aren't actually windows, there's nothing in them, but still... Well, they're windows, then they just have no window panes inside of them, there's no glass or anything. So that way we can shoot through still, and that way you can't hide out in the tower completely. We've now added this section over here as well, which is our lovely little stairway. Then goes in here, still definitely giving a benefit to the smaller drones, and then we have the little underground just there. 
which can hide stuff. I don't really know what exactly, if there's going to be objectives or stuff, but that's definitely the place to put it. Now on top, I'm going to try and make a bit of a roof, a bit of a ceiling, but have it all broken in so you can enter via that way, and then have a load of little broken levels similar to the other ruin like I was mentioning earlier. I think that'll be this bit done, and let's have a quick look-see from the outside in terms of the size. Then after that, we can even paint it so it looks a bit different, because right now it's all a bit samey with the rest of the walls. I want it to pop out a bit more, so at least doing the corners a different colour, perhaps, so you can see where the corners are, it's more distinctive when you're looking there. Ah, uh, okay, sorry, wall. But yeah, I honestly think that looks really nice. So a nice open area here, another enclosed area over there. We have the main entrance, we have the side entrance, it's all smoothed off at the top. I'm starting to really like this build. Getting very close to being done here. So, let's just put a few of them like that. Then, let's put one over here. And we'll knock that around in a second. Any on the top? Um, maybe just some random canisters and stuff. Up here looks like it could be storage. So, just throw these here. I'll move them around in a second. Maybe one of you there. There we go. Down here, once again, I think I want some desks, so let's have them like this next to the window. Now, can I make this fall over straight away? Yes, I can. There we go. Perfect. Landing on the stair there, so it definitely looks like it's out of place. And then just random items at the bottom as well. So let's throw these around. This was one storage. I'm going to move all these around in a second, so I do want it to be quite random. Ooh, though I do like them stacked up like that. So it wasn't always completely random. That's the idea there, of course. I am running out of time right now. That's why I'm being a bit haphazard. And then... Where's the computer? Are you the computer? Are you the screen? Yes, you are. Don't know why they're facing away from the window, but they were. This one can fall off. There we go. Wonderful. This one was a heavy drinker, of course. Can I balance one of these on the top of the monitor? Stop falling! Oh, come on, I want them to be a skillful drunk with their iPad. No, no, they're not a very skillful drunk, sadly. Just quickly throwing down some stairs over here. Originally, I wanted them all on the floor, just completely fallen, but instead, we're going to make it look like, originally, there was a walkway here of some kind. Now, I'm not quite sure where I want the stairs, hence why they're sort of everywhere at the moment, but I think this could work, but I will need to have a lot more stone sort of fallen onto the tiles, so it looks like it has indeed collapsed and then brought it all down with it. But I definitely think that looks good. Definitely a good starting point, anyway. Nothing really else has changed anywhere else. I've just been doing a little bit of sculpting here and there with some of the rocks, trying to make it look a little bit more... Well, honestly, just, just pleasing to the eye. And I think I'm doing an okay job. Not a great job, but an okay job. The only issue I'm thinking of now for the future is this doesn't seem as much an arena as a level in a shooter or something, just a more regular shooter, so I think there does need to be more places where you can hide the drone and try to go through narrow gaps and such, but for the main attraction area, I think it's okay. One giant arena area here, a few hiding places there, there, and there, with the frame rate apparently dying right now. Oh, it's because I've still got the stairs attached. There we go. I was just removing tiles every time I turned around. The game doesn't like that very much. Random side note. I had mirror mode on. Yep, there is a mirror mode in this game, which means I have been placing things over here this entire time. Oh my god, that's turned out really well. Oh, what are the odds of that? Seriously, doesn't that look like a building that's been destroyed by those rocks? That looks perfect. Got the flooring in there, we've got all... Because, of course, it is just a mirror match of the building inside, but that looks really good. Wow, I'm calling that mirror house, and that is staying there. This, on the other hand, needs to be dealt with. Or, I could try to turn this into another broken area, so we have two mirrors. No, I think that would be a bit too silly. So, I will go ahead and, and remove that, but I am definitely leaving that. 
That looks so good. Well, that was incredibly lucky, I've got to say. So, let's, um, let's quickly remove this, shall we? I will, on the other hand, leave that. No one will ever know why there is just a random set of stairs in a hole. Perhaps it is being buried. I had mirror mode on still, didn't I? Yes, I did. There we go. Let's redo that this time with no mirror mode. Yeah, mirror mode can be dangerous in the hands of an idiot. Hi there, I'm Lathrix, and today I will be your idiot. There we are, cleaned up. So with that, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. It feels like I didn't do as much as I really wanted to, but... We are definitely getting there. I feel like one, maybe two more episodes, and we will have the finished map. All we really need to do is a couple of buildings out here, or something of interest, and then just a few cleanup jobs on the inside, perhaps a bit of painting, a little bit of detail work, and we are all done. And I am actually quite happy with the map, and I really hope you are too. Now, a quick reminder, I should have said this at the start of the video, but I probably have edited it in now. Drone is still going through its crowdfunding, and if you would like to support them, get early access to the demo and all that good stuff, there will be a link in the description which will go over to their website, and all the details are there, including their Discord, Twitter, and all that kind of stuff, if you do indeed have interest in the game. I believe that you can pledge and get the game cheaper now than the future, or something like that as well, so take a look yourself, don't take my word for it. And I really do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Drone is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And in the future, it won't just be map creation. We can do some serious battling once it's, you know, released like that.